So I did go see The Gentleman. <laughs> it's kind of funny because Friday I remember mentioning, you know, that I was kind of interested and I didn't know if I was going to get a chance to see it. But then I decided, you know what, I do want to see it and I'm going to go see it. So I saw it on Saturday and I didn't like it as much as I liked 1917. But I will say that this movie was actually really good. I loved the non-linear storytelling that was going on. I loved that it was sort of like kind of a little bit ambiguous in certain things. So you don't know if it was necessarily if it happened exactly as the story was shown on the screen or if it was embellishment or any other, you know, kind of thing. And that really kind of got me to thinking, you know, because 1917 has the kind of like one take shots and it's a linear storytelling and all these things happen and it keeps you on the edge of your seat as you're watching it. I mean, because certainly, I, you know, I think I mentioned when I talked about it in the review, but I don't normally viscerally react in movies. And, you know, 1917 had me so engaged that even in the movie theater, like I felt myself, you know, moving around. I felt myself kind of like jumping. I, I felt myself engaged. This movie, on the other hand, The Gentleman, was really kind of more of a kind of sit back and relax kind of film. And I kind of look, I, I kind of love it for that reason. And I love the contrast of, you know, both of those kind of movie storytelling styles because it really, and it really, like this really kind of gives me hope for the future of movies because, you know, these are, and I would say even the Joker too, even though I maintain, I probably will never see the Joker. But I think I just love the idea that we're starting to get some movies that are just into storytelling, that are just into giving you something that you can really enjoy and can engage your mind at that time and just, you know, kind of like draw you in for the time that you're watching it and then, you know, not really kind of fill you with, you know, shoehorned in insanity. Even though, like I will say, um, the gentleman was, it was surprisingly, it was surprisingly political in some aspects and it was in a way that I didn't expect, you know, because it wasn't, um, like it definitely wasn't left-wing politics that characters were talking about, but it was, I, but I, that kind of made it funny in a way because I mean, it's, it's, it's a gangster film. <laughs> I mean, it's a gangster film. And, you know, and I think like, even though them talking a little bit like liberal tears and things like that kind of um, is a bit shocking in a way, but it kind of fit a little bit with the characters. Although I will say that, I mean, I wish that there was a little bit more focus on characterization. Like one of the things that I do see, cause I've, I've seen um, yesterday, I ended up watching uh, Sherlock Holmes and like the one and two and, you know, and there is kind of like this lack of uh, feeling like you truly get to know character sometimes. Like you do, feel like you know some of them and you get you know like you get to their character motivations like in the gentleman Colin Farrell you know he is a boxing coach he's trying to get his boys on the right track so you're trying to you know give them a value system that is hard working and doing right and then you know you end up being pulled into this world because you know you're having to pay for the mistakes that these kids make kind of thing. And then you have um, like the uh, the odd jobs guy who is Matthew McConaughey's right hand man. Like you, you 
feel like you get to know a little bit about him. But, you know, for it to be, for the story to be mostly between him and Hugh Grant, like, you, you feel like you don't know enough about him. Like, you, you get a very clear picture of Hugh Grant's motivation. And you really kind of get, like, a good sense of his character. So, you know, it is one of those, it is one of those things, like, it, it kind of leaves you, it kind of does leave you wanting to know more because you feel like there's so many, like, there's so much characterizations. But, well, yeah, and, and maybe that's probably why I didn't like it as much as I liked 1917 because I felt like with 1917, I felt like I got a better chance of knowing the characters even though, you know, like, all questions weren't answered. But when it finished, I was satisfied. With The Gentleman, I was satisfied with where the storyline went and I was satisfied with you know how it ended and you know it, it really kind of it is an ambiguous ending and I was really kind of satisfied with that but it left me with a lot more questions and it left me with a lot more questions about who the characters were and it left me with a lot more questions about you know what would kind of happen next and I can see that that was probably definitely what Guy Ritchie was going for so I will say he was definitely successful with that because it's the kind of thing that it's sort of like you kind of want there to be a gentleman too so that you can keep going with the story and say okay I want to get to know these characters more I really 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 want you know to dive deeper into this world that he created with these characters and with you know this gang and you know and, and so yeah I mean it was really good <laughs> it was really 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 good and it was like it was, it's it kind of made me it kind of makes me feel a little bit like you know what kind of video I could get out of it. Like I, I have looked at the reviews and I'm glad that the reviews for this were really good because I do think that The Gentleman is a good film. Now I've not looked at the news surrounding this movie, but of course I've seen a lot of uh, kind of like interesting things in terms of backlash against 1917. And certainly we all know like the backlash and whatnot that was going on about the Joker and I wouldn't be surprised if there weren't some little bit of backlash against the gentleman but I don't know I mean <laughs> like I'm interested in the movies I'm not really interested in the drama behind but I do definitely recommend this movie I think it is like it's definitely a kind of like sit back in your chair you know with your popcorn or your nachos or whatever it is that you have and just enjoy the ride and you know walk away kind of like discussing what was real what was not in terms of the story and you know kind of like speculating and you know and like just thinking like it's a really good movie for that and of course you know like <laughs> I will say, the previews make it look like it's going to be a different kind of movie. So it wasn't, it was like, the the trailers are a bit misleading. And I will say that. But it's kind of misleading in a good way that I would say. Because there's, you know, like, for the trailers, it's, you know, that the, with the, with the Asian guy and the Asian gang and things like that, like that is a part of it, but it plays such a minor role in the actual movie that it was sort of like why we're why why concentrate on that in the trailers? But you know that's not necessarily a nitpick. It was just something that was kind of interesting. I think when I look back and I think about the previews that made me kind of want to see the movie and then the reality of the movie because it really was not 
it really was not as much of the shoot 'em up kind of film that I was thinking that it was going to be, even though it did have those aspects of it. It was a much deeper, thoughtful film than I was expecting. So I would like, if you're kind of interested in seeing it, I would say, you know, keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have, I really don't have too much to say about that, you know, because it was, it was just a good film. So I'm going to end it there and I'm going to say, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you know, share, do all of that. And I don't like, right now it's sort of like, a lot of interesting things have happened, but I'm going to talk about that in the next video. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.